they changed because somebody went after him. And uh, he was vulnerable, and that's it. He had a problem with his own self. Yeah. Because he was heavy. Right. And he realized that, you know, who the hell wants him or whatever. I don't know what he thought. But um, uh, the, the first time I found him cheating was when I moved to uh, Chicago from uh, Florida, from um, New York, and uh, found um, somebody's phone number in his uh, aunt's pocket. And uh, he was gone away for the weekend. And I was only in Chicago a couple of weeks when he had to go out of town, which was normal because he was selling doctors all the time. Right. You know, when Uncle Tom was with him and so on and so forth. Anyway, make a long story short, I called the phone number and it was a girl. No, you did not. Yeah. Oh, good. So I said, um, and her name was on the thing. Her name was Shirley. And uh, I said, uh, when she answered, I don't know, I don't know where it came out of me. I really don't, Allie, to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. And I said, Shirley, she said, yeah. I said, where the hell have you been? I've been trying to get you for the last couple of days. And she said, uh, oh, I was out of town with Steve. Shut the yeah. heck up. <laughs> yeah. So no. She, yeah, so she said, uh. Yeah, we, we just got back and blah, 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 and all that kind of stuff, you know. And then I just hung up. And, of course, in those days, they didn't have ID on the phone right. and all that stuff. There was no... But I just hung up, you know. I There's nothing else I wanted to ask him. So um, when he came home, you know, I'm waiting for him to say something. He's not saying a word, you know. And then I approached him about it. And he told me, I'm nuts, I'm crazy, I'm... Psycho and all that course, kind of stuff, you know. The, of course. And uh, being an ass, I believed him. You know? Yeah, and you, we want to believe him because mm -hmm. it's like, oh. And then with, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I don't know if there was any more in between or anything else. I, I really don't know. But uh, then uh, with Teresa, of course. And uh, then he had uh, Stefan, you know, the son and all that jazz. No, he had stuff on with Teresa, right? Yeah. 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 <clears throat> she wanted a kid. She had four four abortions before she had Stefan. She wanted his kid, and he didn't want kids. And then when I found out that they named him uh, Stefan, uh, I, I really flipped, you know. And I, how could you let him her do that, you know? And I can remember the first Mother's Day that Stephen was dead. She sent me a card, and and uh, it was from her and Stefan. <gasps> yeah, and it's a happy Mother's Day. Love, Teresa and Stefan. I fucking bitch. And, uh... and yeah, but um, anyway, um, she lived in the house in Deerfield. You know, he he had bought that house for her and him and the kid and all that kind of stuff, and. Uh, I even went as far as being friends with her, you know, uh, even though I knew he was living with her and everything right. else and all that jazz, you know. And of course, uh, she was very intellectual. She was very smart about a lot of things. Was she? And um, she was European. She was born in Germany. Oh. Oh, yeah. She was born really? In Germany, yeah. I didn't know that. Her mother, uh, who it was way out of uh, Europe during the war. Screwing all the soldiers so she can get her kids out of uh, Europe. No, aww. Yeah. yeah. Uh, two, uh, two kids, a son and a daughter. In fact, that's the one that uh, Stephanie, we ended up sending Stephanie to uh, the mother's uh, thing in Wisconsin. And oh. I didn't even know that it was Teresa's mother until later on. And uh, But she did st straighten Steffi up. <laughs> like on the plus I mean, side. No, I had another uh, Kathy on my hands, and I said that this is not going to be N not the second time. Hell no. You know, and um, <coughs> Steve said I got a friend that's got a friend that has a farm in Wis uh, uh, home in Wisconsin, and she boards people. You know, they uh, boarders mm -hmm. that uh, pay money and all that stuff, and that's when. Uh, I can remember, like it was yesterday, Steffi crying her eyes out, and I'm crying my eyes out. Mm. And I know I have got, have to do something. 
especially after I went through a field and a sewer pipe to get her over on Bayview when she was running away. Oh, heck. And Stephen called me. Poor Stephen was so worried about her because he was very close to her. He was out on his boat every day looking for her, trying to find her. And then he calls me and he says, Mom, I just seen her. She's on Bayview. And he said, she's under the bridge. And I said, I'll be right there. And I got in my car and went down. And Stephen was on the shore, you know, so I could talk to him. And he said, she's underneath. She went underneath the pipes, you know, under the sewer. Yeah. Thing. So anyway, I, high heels and all, I went right under the sewer. <laughs> And there's guys smoking pot under there and everything else. And, hey, baby, you know, and all this stuff. And shut the hell up, you know. Mm. And I see her. And she sees me and she starts running. And I'm running after her. Shut up. Yeah. In your heels. Yeah, in my heels. Of course. And I'm running after her and everything else. And the little bitch got away from me. No, she didn't. Oh, yeah, she did. That she was, and big. She was fast. Yeah. <laughs> Steve always said, that little bitch. He She's fast. She could run his ass around the trees, and it, it just drove him crazy. He loved it, though. But anyway, um, she took off and everything else, but then uh, we finally did get her back. And then, uh, what do you call it, uh, that's when I decided it, I, I have no way of helping him, you know, unless I send her to an institution or someplace. Right. So when he says, suggested uh, in the woods and all that stuff. That's what I sent her. And it did. It straightened her ass. She was gone for three months. Straightened her ass out. She talks, even now when she talks about it, she calls her the bitch. <laughs> and everything else. But, um, uh, Teresa was a very, uh, I, I don't even know the word I could use for her. She wasn't a nasty person. She was a, she was a bitter person in a lot of ways, and she had this kid, uh, Stefan, and uh, she just abused the hell out of him. It just drove me crazy, because I can't mm. stand when people abuse kids. It ju just drives me insane. Yeah. So um, we were all friendly and everything else. He was there one night. He was home another night, and all that stuff. And I was willing to live that way. It I was guess. working. You know, yeah. It was working. <clears throat> you and, found it uh, too. And then wind up, um, we all went out to a dinner one night. Stephen was away at camp with the girls. And um, what do you call it? Uh, no, Stephen was away at school. Yeah, Stephen was away at school. And Steffi was married already and all that stuff, and so was B. But uh, uh, what do you call it? Your mother wasn't. Uh, your mother was in North Carolina. I don't remember. But anyway, um, we all went out to dinner. Uh, Steve, Teresa, and I, and Stefan, and I drove, and um, that was the house in Deerfield. That they oh. Yeah, that's the house she lived in in Deerfield. And the room upstairs that was my Stephen's was Stefan's room. Wait, Grandpa moved kid. Teresa into the old Deerfield house on the water? No, no I wasn't living there yet. Oh. No, she did. He bought her the house. Shut the hell yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. I had no... Grandpa bought that house for Teresa, the yeah. one that had um, the... It was in his name, though. The one that was on the water that had the um, sharks at the bottom of the pool. Yeah. 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 And yeah. it had, you had, uh, I think, I don't know if it was yours or Nana's at the time, but it was the orange and white furniture, furniture. out back. Yeah, yeah. And you had Peppy and Gigi there. Yeah. I yeah. had the bunny. The bunny The there. bunny was there. Yeah. Oh, my... God. Did you have booths uh, in the kitchen as eating area? Yeah. Okay, Yeah. yeah. In the corner, there was something. Uh, but that's I remember what that. I did when I moved in. Okay. But anyway, she was living there. Oh, I never knew that, girl. Yeah, her and uh, what do you call it? Didn't know that. We'll leave, we'll leave it. That's why uh, everything was so dark and everything else. Uh, he, he made those uh, rollers. Right. <coughs> Which was a great idea. But he wanted his privacy. Nobody could see him and all that sure. kind of stuff, you know. So anyway, we went out to dinner. We went to a nice restaurant in Deerfield somewhere. And um, uh, Stefan was sitting next to me, and Teresa was there, and Steve was there. And um, uh, Teresa starts in on Stefan. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm biting my tongue, you know, because the kid is fidgeting too much for her. He's a five-year-old kid. 
Right. You know, what Good, the hell right. is he supposed to do? He's with grown-ups and sure. all this kind of stuff. Fidget's you know? their middle name at that age. So she, <laughs> she leans over, and oh, my God, I'm telling you, she took his ear, and she turned his ear around like this. Ow, ow, ow. And he knew if he made a noise, she would make it even worse. And the tears are just coming down his face like this. Aww. And I said, Teresa! And she said, uh, he knows better. And she just continued. And the kid is Aww. just sitting there and he's looking at me and I feel so bad for poor, this kid. Poor little guy. So I said to Stefan, <laughs> come on, let's go. And Steve says, where are you going? I said, I'll see you later. And I took St got Stefan in the car. I took him home to my house Aww. and said that I had to watch my girlfriend's kid because she had to go to the hospital. Oh, good. And mom. Um, Steve calls. <laughs> I left him in the restaurant with no car. Nuh uh. You guys were in a restaurant? Oh, shit. I said to him, fuck you. <laughs> Take a cab. You can sit there and let her do that to that kid and it like that and everything else. Right. But he always said, she never gave stuff on him like I always gave my kids to him. Right. You know, that he was a father and all like that. Okay. And so on and so forth. She, yeah. So anyway, uh, eventually, of course, she got him back and everything else. But um, <laughs> uh, everybody, the girl, all the girls wanted to know, well, what's he going to stay here? Just for a few days because his mother's sick and all that stuff, you know. They never know who he was or anything else as far as I Right. Guess. But um, anyway, eventually she did take him back. But then... Um, he started have, having trouble with Teresa, and it, he knocked her down a flight of stairs. She ended up in the hospital, and uh, I got Stefan again, and uh, this went on a few times because he found out that she was cheating on him. She, oh, God she, forbid she, she did what he's yeah, doing. I said, it takes one to know one. How was that for you having yeah. Stefan in the house? Having a boy, this the kid had nothing to do with it. But I mean, as far as because at that time, it well, was Steve's kid. Yeah, but yeah. Uncle Stephen was Stephen. He Stephen was, was still uh, alive. Oh yeah, no, it was Stephen yeah. was still alive. Because yeah. yeah, because this kid's five. They just yeah, knew, yeah, 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 yeah. They he just knew that he was a friend's. Uh, okay, yeah. I was trying to put friends. together a timeline. Had that been after Uncle Stephen had passed away. Oh, no, no, no. How no, it would have been for no, you no, having that. No. Yeah, that would have been no, a really big. No, that would have been. No. That would have been devastating. No, definitely. Uh, okay, so everybody, the yeah. family's all still together. So everybody's anyway, alive. That and, was it, you know, as far as that goes. That is and crazy then, uh, shit. She, what do you call it? Um, um, that's when I had the house up for sale on 19th Street. Okay. Because um, Aunt Steffi had gotten married. And everybody was gone. And yeah. I, you know, I said, it's ridiculous, you know. And um, uh, Steve said uh, about the house in Deerfield, you know. And I said, uh, no, I'm not moving to Deerfield. I said, I want to go out to um, Jackie Gleason's. Uh, had a place a out in Inverary. Oh, in, okay. In Sunrise. Yeah. And I was going to buy a, a condo out there mm -hmm. or whatever. And... Um, uh, well, in the wind-up, he was having a lot of trouble with Teresa. And he found out she was cheating on him and all that kind of stuff. And uh, then when he uh, put her in the hospital for the second time, mm -hmm. uh, she decided she was moving. Uh-huh. Yeah. She'd so, had enough. Yeah, she did. So she, um, she uh, what do you call it, she moved out. And uh, uh, in the meantime, I had sold my house. And uh, we put all my, uh, well, not all my furniture, but some of my furniture in the, in the uh, house in uh, uh, 19, uh, Deerfield. So in the wind up, uh, Teresa ended up going to, um, uh, I'm thinking if that was when she went to Alaska, because she ended up in Alaska. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. She, she built a diamond. Did she? Yeah. Hello. Hey, where are you? Just sitting here talking, Allie. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, does, does mommy know you're coming down? Oh, okay.
No, she did. She did tell me, but I, I thought it was supposed to, supposed to be early. Here, let me talk uh, talk to Allie for a minute. Hold on. It's Danelle she's Stir. On, she's on her wheel. What's up now? Hey, girl. Okay. Oh, that's I'll be chatting with our grams. Yeah. You little turkey, I bet you do with all you got going on. You are slow. Never. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it must. Well, because there's you got to. <laughs> well, you have the baby in your belly. It's making you tired, mama. And then you'll be all good to go. How far are you from here? Okay, so you're a couple hours out. Oh. <laughs> oh, so you're not that far, like an hour. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Sure. You still have a lot of party planning to do. <laughs> 